What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Easy Tech Joe. You know what it is. I'm back with another tool haul. Now, this tool haul is something different that I usually do because this tool haul are from the tool truck brands, all right? I have two of the big dogs. I have Snap-on and I have Matco. Now, I'm going to get flack for, I know, buying this, this, and I know this for sure. And I'll maybe get away with buying this from y'all, but... Um, <laughs> But let's go through it, right? Let's go through it. So let's start with Snap-on first. This is the Snap-on um, 48 piece retread kit. All right. This is not a tap and die set. This is the retread repair kit. All right. This is the tread repair kit. Um, basically, I got it because I was in a position where I almost needed one and didn't have it. But thank God I didn't need it. But I bought this from my Snap-on truck for only 148 bucks. Now I know I'm gonna hear some people online say, "Well, I could have got this from Lang," because I think Lang are the people that makes these for Snap-on and other people um, on Amazon and etc. But that's online for I think about ninety ninety nine dollars. This was only one hundred and forty eight dollars. So for a good forty fifty dollars more, I was able to get this for Snap-on, and it comes with a lifetime warranty. So instead of if I break one or mess one up, send it off to Lang or whoever it's by, and mail it off didn't have to wait for them to mail something back to me as a replacement i can call or text my snap-on guy because my snap-on guy is on freaking he's on literally on call for me i can call him and text him right now and he can probably come up with what i need by tomorrow right so this is a, an advantage of of buying from a tool truck dealer depending on who your dealer is if you have a good dealer or not because if you ask me the dealer makes the tool truck not the other way around and because of my dealer, I went this route because I know if, with this lifetime warranty, if it messes up, if I screw something up here, he can replace it with a drop of a dime. And I appreciate that. For 50 bucks more, I mean, I think that's worth it. You know what I'm saying? So let's go on over here. We got the Snap-on Retread. And we got the Snap-on um, pliers, locking pliers. Now, like I said, I know I might get some flack for this. But hear me out, all right? <laughs> Just hear me out. This Snap-on set is, um, how can I say it, the shit, right? <laughs> now, my coworker had this set, and I used it changing a tire, um, and I was like, dang, man, these pliers are just the bomb, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can use any locking pliers, but this, the durability of these locking pliers and the function of these locking pliers are something serious, man. And let me just give y'all a, a demonstration real quick. Let me see. So, oh, that, that wasn't a good one. Anyways, so you see the end of this right here. Now, usually, matter of fact, let me let me go and get let me go get my other locking pliers real quick. Hold on, and we're back. All right, so these are my original um, locking pliers that I had for a while. Vice grips um, had for about two years now, and they've been doing me justice. And the previous location where I worked at. I didn't really need locking pliers a lot. My new job, if you not, uh, if you're not familiar with it, you can go check out that video. I quit my job, right? So I'm at a new job now, and at my new job, I need locking pliers like hell, all right, for what I do now. And so the difference between these two locking pliers is that on this end here, it's a push to release, right? This you have to actually pull out. This is a push right and it's safer because it's actually hanging out where you can just do this boom and it unlocks so you don't have to risk pinching yourself by trying to force and unlock this and mess around to pinch your fingers it's a, it's a safer easier way to unlock the pliers and you know when you have tension on those locking pliers um, it can be tough to really undo with these it makes it easy and it makes it simple and I'm telling you man these are worth it, all right? Now, this set was about mm, 115 120 I, I forgot the exact price. Um, but I can put these links in the description for you. I have no problem doing that. I'm sure they're online. I can find it. Um, but this set wasn't that much for the value of what I needed for. Now, you may not need locking pliers like I need locking pliers. But, hell, I need locking pliers, and I need them a lot. And these little vice grips right here, uh, they good, but... Um, like I said, for what I need it for every day, I need a good durable set. And this is getting the job done, man. I, I love these plies right here. So, let's snap on out the way. Let's go over to Matco. So, these 
are let's start with this the Metco pry bar set all right so these pry bars are green if you follow my channel you know that I'm a new fan of green tools all right it is what it is I know my buddy uh, Skyler he gonna have something to say about it hey if you watching which I know you are it is what it is all right <laughs> check it but these um, pry bar set at the time of this filming right my vendor uh, my dealer had a special in my region that if you buy this four pry bar set four piece pry bar set you get the big 36 inch for free all right now let me show you um, I know somebody may be like oh no whatever you could do look all right so this is the 8 12 17 25 inch curved pry bar set this is what this is right here right now this is the 36 inch this 36 inch pry bar set is about 160 by itself it was free okay this was about two something by itself so um, I mean it was a good special and it was worth it for what I needed for once again if you were to shoot the shoot fits this special was good for me now pause before y'all get in the comments and say well you know Mayhew make these pry bars look I know that all right actually I'll put that link down in the description for you as well for another cheaper option hear me out though <laughs> all right hear me out although may you make the pry bars I want it a certain color now you can call give me flag for that it is what it is not only did I want a certain color I wanted a certain length all right the Mayhew pry bars um, that I was looking for in the green did not have the 36 inch they had the 32 uh, in a red color and you know it was cool it was the four piece and a 32 inch but I needed that big 36 and when I walked in that Matco truck he says hey you know you have a special and y'all know when you walk on it hey look don't go on two truck unless you plan to buy something okay all the tool guy has to do is say hey you know we got this special and don't let it be something you really need because then you just might get it and, and lo and behold it's something that I really needed. I needed an upgrade from my pry bar set because the pry bar set I had was from Titan. It was small. It was tiny. And I used it for the past two years. It was time for me to upgrade, all right? So, these pry bars, I love these pry bars, man. I love these handles. Uh, comfortable handles. I mean, you know, that green. I love that green color now. Like, I mean, this is a purchase that I'm, I'm, I'm glad of. You know what I'm saying? I know Matthew makes them, but Matthew didn't make them like the way I wanted them to make them, all right? It is what it is. Matco, I know Matco rebrand most of their tools, but not all of them, but it is what it is. But what Matco does is that, yeah, they rebranded like 90% of the tool companies in the world these days, so they're not the only people that do it. But they rebrand it, and they make it better, in my opinion. Like, yeah, they got rebranded Impact Ranches. I think um, they're stubby Impact maybe a rebranded re Ingersoll Rand, but their stubby impact wrench is like 200 foot pounds more than the Ingersoll Rands, even though it's the same rebranded. So you have to look at it from that perspective. It is what it is. I got them. Ain't no going back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and the next Maco tool I have here is the, oh, I got it right here actually, is the 0.85 horsepower right angle die grinder green all right so i needed a right angle die grinder uh i've only have a straight a straight die grinder from harbor freight i got the chief one and um i really needed a right angle and i was going to go back to harbor freight and get the chief right angle die grinder which is only 60 bucks which probably would have been a more friendly uh money friendly option but like i said i wanted something more durable it's going to last long and have a longer warranty that chief only i think have like a 90 day warranty on it all right you get it from the tool truck here i got like i got this from the tool truck now first of all pause i know it seems like i'm a tool truck kind of guy from this video but trust me if you know me i am the hell am not all right this is just some stuff I was like, this this is really my first time really just really, really buying stuff from the tool truck. Yeah, I got a few snap on ratchets, but this is my first time really just going to the tool truck and be like, hey, I need this, I need this, give me that. 
and, and I got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a tool truck guy. I'm just a good tools guy. And now I'm a green tools guy. And Matco had what I needed green, so I got it. But anyways, this is the right angle dock rider. Uh, it's supposed to have 85, 0.85 horsepower. Evidently, that's a whole lot of torque. I think they have like a 0.50 or 0.25 or something like that horsepower. Uh, my guy, um, my guy Skyler, and you can go look at his toolbox store video or the Snap-on toolbox store video. Um, he has the Matco, but I think he has the 0.25 or something like that, and it it's not, you know. He told me that it really, really wasn't cutting or, or buffing the way he wanted to cut and buff, uh, but he didn't get the 0.85. So, Scott, if you're watching this, get the 0.85, man. But, hey, <laughs> uh, and I haven't used it yet. Like I said, I literally just got all of this. I got both of these today. No, actually, I got all three of these today, and I got this a couple of days ago. So, all of this was within a couple of days span of spending, all right? And, uh, of course, I'm paying weekly. I ain't got money like this to be paying all this shit at once. It is what it is. Um, but, yeah, so this is my tool truck tool haul, man. We got Snap-on. We got Matco. What tool brand you don't see is Mac Tools because I don't mess with them like that, all right? And we ain't got a cornrail truck, so it is what it is. But, hey, I will. I can post all these links in the description. And I can post uh, money, friendly, more option in the link um, as well, all right, in the description as well. So, hey, this is my tool haul, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Be easy.